So I just, and again, I'm not telling people to break the rules, but I think everybody should take creatine. I want to go to another ingredient that's gotten a lot of, and, and I believe you include it, and that's creatine. It's gotten a lot of, of press on its effects on, you know, the brain and cognition. Would creatine play a role in this? So sadly, yeah, the answer is yes, it does. And sadly, we have to pull out creatine. And even though it's in small doses, we have to pull it out because it's our understanding from some some very high level coaches that they can't give creatine to their players. Yeah. And 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 it's so stupid because we it's on it's okay for the Olympians, but it's not okay for the NCAA. They're still like, they're still stuck in that creatine is a steroid media smear mindset from the 1990s. And it's sad to see because now you're seeing creatine have another spike in sales. Like it's to the point where Alchem, who makes Creapure, and they have another one out. It's actually, it's called Crea Vital. That's their other one. That's actually better than Creapure because it's a finer mesh. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. My opinion is it's the same thing, but it's a finer mesh. So if anybody has a, any issues with, very few people have this, but intolerances with creatine due to the mesh side and digestibility, it's a smaller mesh. Bottom line is they just chop it up finer. But they, dude, they're not taking on new customers. They can't, their plants are, they're three, three years to get a new plant online. Cause you got Huberman, Dr. Peter Atia, Rhonda Patrick, all talking about creatine. So now they're saying, oh, you need 20 grams a day for cognition. And then they're saying, there's that new study that came out on sleep deprivation on creatine, where you take 30 grams or 25 to 30 grams, I think was the range. And it knocks out most of the effects of sleep deprivation. So I just, and again, I'm not telling people to break the rules, but I think everybody should take creatine. I, there's very few populations. It'd be such a minuscule amount. Like creatine should be in everyone's daily stack. And, and here's sadly, here's the government's perspective. You have one idiot somewhere doing something stupid. And then he's on the front page of the paper because he was taking 10 pounds of creatine a day. You know, and it's like, I can't, I mean, it goes, it's that, it goes to that colloidal silver thing. Or if you've ever heard of Papa Smurf, yeah. this guy's like drinking and he turns himself blue. Well, I can't protect from stupidity. Yeah. The colloidal silver is an amazing thing. It is a, it is a, I mean, in silver, it's not, it's not a daily consumable, but I guess you, the gist is you can't protect stupidity.